Hi hey Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. So this is going to be for any significant Pisces placements you may have. You may resonate with the reading. If you're cross-watching for Pisces, you may resonate with the reading. Just flip the rolls if you have to. And even if you don't have any significant Pisces placements that you know of, it's just a house in your chart. Like we all have all the signs as houses in our charts. And you still found your way here. Trust that there are messages here for you. You're going to have to trust your own discernment and take what resonates as resonates with your situation okay and as always thank you so so much for everything you do for the channel your likes your shares your comments and your feedback subscribing your donations everything helps everything is appreciated all right Okay, let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time you watch this reading. Pisces, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing the love and work money matters reading after this. I think I'm going to do one video and do timestamps because the results were kind of balanced. So I'm going to do them both in one video. Um, so stay tuned for that right after this. And also, if your birthday is the 14th of March, happy, happy birthday. Stay tuned until the end. I'm going to pull a birthday message for you, okay? All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on. Six of Cups. Now, this could be nostalgia, reminiscing with friends, family. Um, this could be you. This could be someone about you. Ace of Swords in reverse. You could also be hearing from someone from your past that you, you haven't been speaking to. Five of Cups, <laughs> Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, X. X, X, and Queen of Wands. An X or someone who really wronged you. And so you had to stop speaking to them. There was there's no contact. So it could be a specific message for someone. Just be mindful. Someone might be reaching out to you. If you if you have them blocked, you don't have to worry about that. You won't even know they try to reach you. They might try to bypass that or create a different account or message you from someone else's phone or call you from a different number. So just be aware of that. That might be coming up. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this reading. And as always, Pisces, feel free to check out any other video on the channel. If it calls out to you, it has messages for you, okay? And if you haven't checked out the weekly, go ahead and have a look. And if you have, can you share some feedback? Is it making more sense now that we're kind of deeper into the week? Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, it's also a time of searching for meaning, searching for something deeper. So it usually involves us walking away from something else. Okay, steampunk, Art Nouveau tarot is what we're using today. Okay, so yeah, a time of solitude, a time of... And that doesn't mean you're completely isolated from the world. It can be. It could also just mean where, you know, you're saying, this is an hour I'm taking to myself. So everything is going on mute and do not disturb. I want to focus on this one thing. I want to research this. I want to learn about this. Or I just want to meditate. Or, I, you know, it's a time of isolation to search for something. Search for meaning. Search for information. Search for answers. Okay. Let's see. Current situation. The sun. Very nice. Truth. Clarity. Victory triumph independence so if you went off searching for something this is where you found it or you're finding it if you went off searching for confirmation you're getting it this this is your confirmation for for some of you in the challenge position the fool yeah so this is where you've been kind of contemplating starting something different new starting over uh taking a chance on something you've been contemplating it and you might have been feeling like, well, I, I need one last confirmation, or I need one last piece of information, or I need one last conversation, whatever the case is, okay? And that's what you went off looking for, and that's what you're getting with the sun card. So this is like green light. The sun with the fool is saying, green light, yes, go ahead. Yes, it's a good idea. Yes, it's the right thing to do. And the foundation, the tower, this could have been some sort of epiphany. This could have been an idea that came to you out of nowhere or, or in a dream. Or there's something unusual and very obvious, like you couldn't deny if it's a sign you received, right? Um, you're like, that was just, that was just spooky. Um, and for others of you, it, it has to do with 
making a decision to walk away from something and start fresh somewhere else. Just completely level something that you've been working on and investing in because it could be that you come to the conclusion that, you know what, that's not it. Um, and it might have been some sort of fast, nope, that's not it. I know, okay? I just know. Or with the tower, something was revealed, the tower and the hermit, something was revealed either you came across some information or someone gave you some information hey did you know this was going on this did you know about this and that and the other and that put you in a place of i need to get out of here then here's that six of cups in the recent past six of cups with the sun and the tower and the fool for some of you this could be some sort of surprise pregnancy or surprise pregnancy announcement that somehow impacts your decisions okay for others of you, this is some sort of illusion, some sort of, you thought things were happy, you thought things were good, you thought things were balanced, you thought things were mutual. And with the tower, something was revealed in the hermit to where it's like, oh, not really. Oh, okay, it's a one-sided situation. Oh, okay, I'm the only one investing here. Oh, okay. And this could be with friends, family members, siblings, romantic interests, team effort, whatever it is. For others of you, this is where there's some sort of, you've been living with friends or living with family because of some sort of big shakeup that happened in your life. And you've been looking for your own place and you're getting it. On the mind, we have the moon. Wow, a lot of major arcanas. We're coming up to a full moon eclipse at the time when I'm recording this. I mean, it's a, like a week or so away. But, um, yeah, something. You're making moves in silence for some of you. And, or you're trying not to let people know what you're doing. For others of you, you caught someone doing something they shouldn't be doing. You caught someone in a lie. And this could even be like, you know, someone promising you that promotion and then you figured out, you talked to HR or whatever, and they told you that, no, that manager never approached us to talk to us about you. No, they never put your name forward. No, they didn't do this. And so that put you in a place of, oh, really? Okay. I thought we were headed somewhere, but no, okay. And you started applying for other jobs or you're getting yourself something better and you're not talking about it because I feel like you feel like you need to teach someone a lesson or you feel like this triggered your pride somehow and not in an unhealthy way right this like self-respect like you know what I'm not gonna take it I'm not gonna allow you to treat me that way I'm not gonna make a fuss I'm not gonna make a scene I'm just gonna walk out of your life my head held high integrity and dignity intact and then that's just going to have to be your problem okay there's also an energy of again with the moon the tower six of cups and the full whatever was revealed it put you in a place of that's it i'm out but you didn't want to make emotional decisions you didn't want to make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions right temporary feelings and with the hermit, that's where you went in the sun looking for truth, clarity, confirmation. They know, yep, that's the right way to do it. Yeah. Okay, and I feel like that's what's happening. So we have, in, in today's energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yep. You're saying, that's it, no more. Again, very confident energy with the Queen of Wands not starting a war not going on a rampage right this is grace elegance but confidence and with the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles for some of you this will mean cutting someone off if you've been helping them supporting them maybe someone's been living with you because they told you they're going through a bit of a rough time or a hard time right 
and you come to find out they they got plenty of money they just don't want to spend it they'd rather spend yours or you know they didn't have to move out of their home they chose to leave because of some sort of tantrum and they told you they got kicked out and they got nowhere to go and if you didn't take them in they would be homeless right there's something where someone's kind of painted a picture that's not quite true to pull at your heartstrings to pull on your emotions and this is where you're going nope nope I don't think so for others of you this has already happened and that person's trying to come back thing is they're trying to come back with the same moves with the same speech with the same stories which tells you or should tell you that this person hasn't changed this is someone very childish very mature I don't care if they're 55 very childish very mature they never want to take responsibility they never want to take accountability it's always someone else's fault it's always someone else needs to fix it and someone else needs to help them because they're so helpless which is why their life is a constant state of, of chaos and I feel like if that's the case and you've tried to help this person before whoever whoever they may be you got sucked into the chaos and it took you a long time to get out of it and to rebuild And so now they're trying to come back with the same moves, same stories. With the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Wands, you're going, no, thank you. No, you don't have access to my money. No, you don't have access to my stability. This is someone craving stability, but they destroy it when they find it. Because it doesn't come from them. They don't want to create it for themselves. They are a, a, a ball of chaos because they keep running away from their trauma. They keep running away from their issues. They keep running away from their problems. And I'm not judging here, that's their choice. But your choice, when you see that and you recognize that, your choice, because you have a choice, is whether or not you embrace that and accept that into your life, knowing exactly what it is that's gonna bring to your life. Chaos and destruction, okay? So let's see, let's pull more cards for Pisces here. Let's clarify. The sun in the current situation death card big change big transformation also someone trying to get you to change your mind about an ending when it comes to them or trying to convince you that they've changed there's also some sort of truth being revealed about an ending either that it never really happened so if someone's telling you they broke up with someone and they've been single it's not really true and that could be what you're finding out they're still married they're still in a relationship they're still involved if someone's telling you they lost their job, they lost their home, that's not really the case, okay? So some sort of truth coming out about some sort of ending. Or someone trying to get you to change your mind about an ending. The fool in the challenge position, the queen of, sorry, the king of wands. And now we have the king and queen of wands. So this is a significant person in your life. You definitely have history with this person. If they're not an ex, they're a family member, they're a lifelong friend. You have a lot of history together. If it's not a long history in terms of number of years, you've been through a lot together, okay? Deep experiences. But I almost feel like your life is taking off. There's something taking off for you, and this person is trying to attach themselves to you so that you can take them with you. With you. The tower and the foundation, strength. They're craving stability. You worked very hard for your stability. They crave stability. They don't know what to do with it, they destroy it. They've done that to you before, they'll do that to you again. You have Leo energy, we have Mars energy, Aries, Pluto, Scorpio energy. Um, this is someone reckless. This is someone impulsive. This is someone reckless. This is someone cocky and proud. You can't tell them they're wrong because they'll throw a fit. And then they go off on trying to prove people wrong, but they're wrong. You know what I mean? And then it blows up in their face and they end up with nothing. I don't care who, how old this person is. They're, they're on some sort of... Hmm. But you... <laughs> They keep avoiding the lesson. They keep avoiding 
going through the painful experiences and allowing that to change them, to teach them, to transform them. They keep avoiding that. They keep running away from it and trying to attach themselves to other people's lives, right? They don't want to work and create their own stability. They'd rather just jump on someone else's boat, boat where they've already got the stability. Six of Cups in the past, justice. You already put up a boundary with this person. You broke up with them. You divorced them. You've got restraining orders on them. You've blocked them. Um, there's some sort of legal action you had to take against them. So that could be the ending that you initiated when it comes to them. And that that's the ending they're trying to get you to change your mind about. You could, you could have gotten into trouble because of this person. You could have gotten into financial trouble or legal trouble because of this person. And that's how you'll know who this is. The moon on the mind, the two of pentacles. This is someone trying to get you to make an emotional decision when it comes to them. And if they get you to think about it, that's half the battle as far as they're concerned. If they even can get you to think about taking them back, giving them another chance, helping them out. I feel like this is the type of person that would get under your skin because they know how to get to your heart. Now that means emotionally, but also this is someone who's a very good manipulator and they know what to say and how to behave to make someone happy or to impress someone, to elicit some sort of emotion from someone, right? Whether it's uh, pity, or admiration they work with emotion right they can manipulate emotion okay seven of pentacles queen of wands nine of wands ten of wands five of swords queen of swords you're being asked to remember you're being asked to remember what this person has put you through. And if it's not someone you already know, it's a similar, it's something similar. There's something similar about this person. It could be a brand new person or a brand new situation, but there's something similar to previous history for you, okay? Because it's trying, the, the thing, the experience, whatever, is trying to show you a pattern, is trying to confirm to you that yes, you see the correct pattern and therefore you can break it. Or it's trying to confirm to you that yes, you have changed. Yes, you would see this coming. And yes, you would know what to do with it. Do you know what I mean? Because the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, this is someone who wants to move in with you. But they're so confident you're going to let them move in because they're coming to you with some sort of sob story. They're just, they got their bags downstairs. Like it's that kind of thing, right? They're coming up to say, hey, how you doing? I just wanted to check in. This is someone like I'm seeing someone calling you. Hey, how you doing? I randomly thought about you the other day or I had a dream about you or someone mentioned your name or I saw this and it reminded me of you, something to elicit that emotion and the good old times to be in your head, right? When it comes to this person. Um, and they're just, they're just chatting. They just want to catch up, but slowly but surely they would get to the point of Oh, I can come see you in like half hour. But they're downstairs. Do you know what I mean? They're downstairs in the lobby of the building or they're downstairs in their car talking to you about how they're randomly thinking about you and if everything goes well in that conversation, they're like, oh, I can come see you in like half hour. Just give me half hour and I'll be, I'll be right there. But they're downstairs. They're so convinced you're gonna go, yeah, come over. Do you know what I mean? I don't like this person. I don't like this person. So with the Five of Swords, this is their energy being forceful. Okay? And it's like I'm gonna get I'm getting what I want, I don't care. But it could also be your advice with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords, where you're gonna have to go hold your horses. No. No, I don't wanna talk about it. No, I don't wanna no, just no. Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords is like mm, no. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. I heard you out, I listened to what you have to say, it's a big fat no. It's a very firm pass, okay? 
If they turn up at your door, this is where you're going. I'm not opening this door. You can sit there for... My neighbors are going to call the cops at some point because they're going to think there's some weirdo hanging around. Don't expect me to go saying that, yeah, I know this problem is going to be. I don't know who this is. No. Right? And they're like, oh, why are you being so childish? I'm like, no. Right? This is be petty when it comes to this person. Okay? This is your op- your, your, your um, green light to be petty if that's what it's going to take to get this person off your porch. Right? This is someone, again, they're starting a conversation. This is a very good manipulator. You're going to have to be very careful. They're starting a conversation completely unrelated to anything, but they have a plan that by the end of that conversation, they're going to come back into your life. Like they'll be back into your life or you're not going to leave. You'll come back. Okay. And this could be a work. This could be in your love life. This could be a family, whatever this is. What else does Pisces need to know here? Look at it. Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Page of Wands. I'm telling you right now, okay? This is someone, nothing to see here, Seven of Cups. It's all good. Everything's fine. It's completely random. You know, whatever. They have an agenda. Three of Cups. Reconciliation, reunion, getting what they want, and it's, it's communication. It's through communication. Page of Wands. So be very careful when it comes to this individual. You know who they are. And if it's a new person, you know what they're about. You know their type, okay? You know their type. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. This person is coming back because you're going through some sort of leveling up. You're going through some sort of... There's, there's fame, there's popularity with the sun, there's spotlight on you, there's increase in your life, there's money, there's growth, there's abundance. Or because you're starting a new relationship, or because you're starting a new amazing job, or because your business is taking off, or because you're moving and you've moved it in this big place. Or because you simply want to move away from this individual and this environment and this situation. And they can't have that. Let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces when it comes to the situation. And again, be careful. This is someone, if they get inside your head, if they get you to even contemplate what it is they're telling you, that's half the battle won for this person. So the best way to handle this person, with the Justice card, with the Five of Swords, with the Nine of Wands, you already have things in place, boundaries um, in place to block them, to keep them away, to keep them at a distance. And the best thing to do with the Strength card is to maintain those boundaries. Don't see this person, don't talk to this person. If you feel confident that you can hold your own with the Queen of Swords and see them and talk to them and then still tell them to go kick rocks and feel nothing, Queen of Swords, that's fine. If there's a hint, if there's a chance they could get any sort of emotion out of you, even if it's pity, okay? This isn't someone, like any sort of emotion. That's, that's all they need, they need, an emotion of any kind. And they can work their way back in. They can manipulate. In that case, stay away is the best thing to do. Okay. Any conversation you have this with, with this person, they have an agenda. They have an agenda. And they're so confident that they're gonna get their way, and you know what? Usually they do. This is this someone's kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I'm gonna keep it real with you because you need to be safe out there and protect your money and protect your assets and protect your heart. Okay. 
So we have balancing act number 11 at the bottom of the deck. Choices and decisions, karma, think long term. You're walking a fine line when it comes to this person. And again, with them, there are, again, it's like that two pentacles. They know what to say, they know what to do, they can adjust, they can adapt. And again, with all the hearts, they're pulling at your heartstrings. They're pulling at your heartstrings. That's their way in if you let them in. Okay? But also, the things they're doing and the things they're saying to you, they're also saying to other people. And it's a case of whoever bites, bites. Okay? Be very careful. We have intention. 22. 33, peaks of joy. And 27, the home. You've got something new in your life, okay? A new home, a new source of joy, a new source of love, a new source of abundance, something that's just uplifting you, okay? And it's just getting started. That's why this person's turning up. They want some of it. They want to make a claim to it. They want to take it, or at least they don't want you to have it. Moonlight. Mm. And encouragement. This is someone, be very careful. This is someone who works with emotion, manipulates it very well. They know how to get emotion from a stone, draw emotion from a stone, and then use it against them. Okay? And they're coming in vulnerable. They're coming, they're gauging, depending on whatever emotion they elicit from you, they're then gauging their approach. Would it be beneficial for me to play victim here? Would it be beneficial for me to make myself vulnerable? Would it be beneficial for me to cry? Would it be beneficial to, for me to be like all nonchalant about it and pretend like I don't care? Would it be, this is a oh, very skilled manipulator. This is a hustler. This is a hustler. Because what they're doing to you, they're doing to other people. And again, whoever bites, bites. And rock bottom, number 10. They, they, are, they are at a constant, constantly in a place of just rock bottom because they cannot create for themselves. Why? Because they're a source of chaos. They don't create, they destroy. Why? Because they keep avoiding and running away from their issues, their trauma, their problems. They never take responsibility, they never take accountability. They never sit in this place of rock bottom. This is supposed to teach us, when we hit rock bottom, it's supposed to teach us something. If, if we open our, our minds to it, and this is someone who's so stubborn that even when they have nothing, and even when they're at rock bottom, they still refuse to ask themselves, why am I here? What did I do to get here? Because that would be taking accountability in some sort of way. And they refuse vehemently. They will attach themselves to anything else, like a, like a little parasite, anything else, to keep from asking themselves those questions. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, they're so skilled at manipulation that usually they get what they want if not from you, from someone else. They don't care who they get it from, okay? So be very, very careful. You're gonna hear or hear back or hear again from a hustler. Look at it, we have the magician underneath with the judgment and the two of cups. Listen to me, look at it. Magician, yeah? The hustler, can be. Judgment, trying to get you to change your mind about a decision you made, trying to start over with you, trying to get, start fresh with you. Two of Cups, playing nice. Page of Swords, with an agenda. Always an agenda with this one. Ten of Cups, to come home, to come back, for you to come back, for you to take them back, for them to be welcomed into your home, for them to be welcomed into your place of happy and abundance. Ten of Swords, they come in, but when they come in, when they come into your life as the Ten of Cups, by the time they're done with it, they leave you in the Ten of Swords. And they just, just leave. This is rock bottom. And they just leave. And they just leave. The star of the world, knight of swords, the, the wheel of fortune, 
be mindful, the lovers, of repeating a pattern, of repeating a cycle that you've already learned from, you've already grown, outgrown. Okay, this is going to be a big test for some of you. And, and it's not always love, guys. Okay, don't, if that's what you hear, then that's telling you something that you need to be looking at some things. But this is a pattern where you have had to learn boundaries, you have had to learn self-respect, you have had to learn to question people's motives, you have had to learn how to protect yourself from being taken advantage of in any capacity, in any arena, okay? And here comes this person. And again, you will know who this is. This won't be a surprise, this won't be a shock. And for others of you, if it's a brand new person or it's a brand new situation you're finding yourself in, it is eerily familiar to you, okay? So, yeah, it's up to you how you want to handle this. Because remember, even if they make you angry, that's still you giving them an emotion that they can work with. So I don't know if, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. That's up to you. But I'm telling you how this person operates and then you can adjust your approach, okay? Okay. All they need is an emotion from you. Any emotion, any emotion. If it's pity, if it's love, if it's anger, if it's disgust, if it's being, if it's despised, this, what is the, if it's you showing them you despise them, if it's disappointment, if it, anything, doesn't have to be a good emotion, a positive emotion, any emotion they can take, spin around, okay? So in that case, should you even be entertaining them? Should you even be listening to them? Should you even be allowing them in your space in any way? I don't know. It's up to you. Remember, you have a beautiful new thing that's really going to take you to new heights in your life. And your, it's, it's your responsibility to protect that. Okay? But... Yeah, just be aware. Just be aware, okay? So, that's what I have. Let's do birthday message for Pisces born March 14th. What's the birthday message for Pisces born March 14th? Birthday message for Pisces born March 14th. And if it's not your birthday and you still resonate with the message, take it, of course. Okay. We have, I let go of all expectations. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. Okay. Just be mindful. Be mindful of hearing this person out. Be mindful of seeing them, allowing them in your space at all in any sort of way. Um, this is someone on the prowl, like whatever, they're in a desperate place. They're in a desperate place. They will stop at nothing to get what they want, to get what they need. And it's your stability. That's what they want. That's what they need. Remember, you're in the Ten of Cups or you're on your way to the Ten of Cups. Okay. You're almost there. They see that. That's why they're coming around. By the time they're done with you, and it could be a matter of days weeks, months, or years, it depends. At the time they're done with you, they leave you in complete ruin. Ten of swords, mental, emotional, financial, health-wise, they leave, they, they leave nothing, like they take everything and then leave. This is this person. And all they need from you is an emotion, any emotion. So just be very, very careful, okay? So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I'm looking forward to your thoughts and your comments. And um, I'm just going to go start your other reading, okay, when it comes to what's next in love or what's next in your uh, work and money matters. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all for your feedback on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Really hope this helps. It's an important message, okay? Share it with whoever you think may benefit from this as well because it's important. Um, but yeah, leave it there. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.